is our YouTube channel, Naughty Boys. And this is our 50 foot narrowboat which we're currently reforming. This is me Gary and my partner Keith, soon to be gracing the waterways. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Okay, action. <laughs> Okay guys, well it's been a long time since we've uh, put anything up on another chat. We actually did uh, rip all the flooring up in the lounge, well most of the flooring. You can see the bit that's down this side didn't actually need coming up. It's not wet, it's just discoloured from where the old carpet was. Uh, but all this section here was rotten so we had to take that out. Uh, the floor underneath was dry so um, yeah, we didn't need to do any work underneath. But we got the new flooring. Unfortunately, we did video it at the time. But unfortunately the SD card in the phone just decided it wasn't going to work any longer so we couldn't access the uh, the videos. So, 20 videos in all. Yeah 20 in, in total and couldn't access any so what we've done is we're not going to pull the whole floor back up again because it's a nightmare screwing it back down. Yep. So uh, we're going to mm -hmm. leave it. You can see it's new flooring. We've got the underlay that's ready to go down and then we've just been to B&Q and bought all the carpet so that's the next job carpet down this side this side got to take the shelves and that off the wall obviously and then carpet this section of the floor uh, and then once that's done we can think about making this starting work on making the sofa bed Yay. there we go <laughs> So guys, we've arrived at B&Q, so all we've got to do now is find a parking space close enough because we're going to be getting quite a bit of carpet. Uh, we're going to see if we can have it cut to size because it's going to be very difficult getting it in the jag. So just wait and see what happens. So fingers crossed we can get it in the car. <laughs> Off we go! Working our way to the carpet section. <laughs> Keith trying to steer the trolley. <laughs> <He's> trying. Carpets. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got the one we want there? So we chose the carpet that we wanted because there was only one left. <laughs> um, so we're having it cut to size. Which is very nice of the man. Right, now we've got to decide how we're going to get all that. <laughs> Here we go. Well, we couldn't uh, video doing it, but we actually got all the carpet <laughs> in the jack. Oh, it would good job we didn't bring the smart car. Ah. Two meter rolls in there. I didn't think about bringing the lunch home. And look, there's even a place for me to sit. <laughs> yeah. At least we've done it. <laughs> so, now we've got the fun job getting these out. <laughs> Are you ready? Well, yep. <laughs> this is where the main fun begins. <laughs> Trying to get them out of the car. Right, I'm going to put the camera down. We can't film and do it. We've got a little tripod yet. <laughs> I'll try and get this one out first. Since that was a, oh, that was a difficult one, wasn't it? Oh, that's quite easy. It's because of the cling film, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'll give you a hand. We'll certainly have plenty of cling film left over afterwards. <laughs> So as you can see, the carpet's going down. Yeah. Just doing the last finishing touches to the floor. Trying to get it underneath the <laughs> breakfast bar at the moment. Excuse Gary's behind. And then 
cleared the walls other than the, TV, other than the TV. That's got to come down next. And then we can set to and we can start carpeting the walls as well. And it's going to look a million times better. It already feels really nice and comfy underfoot. There we go. Up, done up to the flat fire. Steps have got to go back in there. So if you wonder what that gaping hole is in the wall, that's actually the water, the tank. water tank. So we have a turn off tap and a tap just there so that we can switch the water off whenever we leave the boat for any length of time. Okay, so there's the first wall section of carpet going on. Just sprayed it all with adhesive. Harry's right. just uh, pushing it all down, pushing it into place. Yeah. Then we've got a cut out around the other end there because we've got some shelves there and it's going to be a nightmare to take the shelves off and actually try and find the holes again to put them back in the right position. So we're going to cut around the shelves. The wooden batten's going to go along the bottom. Yep, and then we'll house the radiator with radiators with covers. Something there, I don't know. And then once that's done, we'll move on to the other side. As you can see, guys, it's looking so much better already. And, oh, my God, is it going to be toasty warm in the winter? Ooh. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be warm here in the summer anyway. It's roasting as it is. We've had to close the blinds in the lounge and the kitchen because the sun is coming through and it is just absolutely roasting hot. So, so that's the next wall to be done. Huh. Sticky yep, for all the wrong reasons. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> and we'll cut that bit just there. Okay, so we're getting ready to do the other wall now. Gary's just measuring what we need to cut off so that we can just spray the wall, spray the back of the carpet, and literally lift it into place, smoothing as we go along. Just go around this side. What he's doing, boat going past, you can probably hear the squeaking of the boat rubbing up against the tyres on the edge of the pontoon. So this is the height that he's measuring for now and then we'll do the length. I've just got to roll this end over. And he's done the thing. Oh, oh. Went off the too quick. Bit. This is Ray's got to cut it without going through the hot carpet as well. <laughs> oh, don't go that deep with it. This is not the weather. since we pulled the blinds down. It's still, yeah, it's still too too hot for doing. We should be literally out there getting a nice tan. My boss Chris will be going, your video is too long. Yeah, we'll be fast tracking this, don't worry. <laughs> Shortening it down, cutting the bits out. <laughs> <laughs> And there we go. That's it. Floor's done. Walls are done up to the gunnels. Gary's just doing the titivating bit at that edge, just to finish it off. And just so that you're all aware as to why it looks like Gary's doing all the work and I'm not. I can't be filmed at the moment because it's so bloody hot. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm naked. And you really won't want to see that in the video. So there you go. Decide what we're going to do to tidy the fire up and make it look better. But anyway, we're getting there. Yep. Another two days off well spent.
And so from where that line is there, excuse the mess because we have to move everything, we're going to be doing like a, a lino, a grey, grey and white lino. So there we go, that's all done for the carpeting. So one of the daily chores of uh, living on the morning is also cutting the grass. So what I'm doing here is I'm, uh, I laid out the lino for the kitchen. We already cut the underlay so I've laid that the lino out and put the underlay on top so I can cut the template or use it as a template for, uh, for the lino. It says trying to get it all up the sides, all around that bit. It tears very easily if you're not careful. So hopefully it'll be fine. This is where we'll be putting the lino down edge of the carpet there just all the way up to the wall there just for now because we'll be carpeting all the way through there and just a little bit in the bathroom The lino is down, <laughs> so we've just got the kickboards to do now and the drawers underneath the units there, so you pull drawers out and we're going to carpet the fronts of the uh, of the uh, kickboards, so it all matches in. Very nice, and looks a good job. Okay guys, that's it for now, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video and click that bell icon for more notifications on our next videos. Bye for now.